Hello everyone, this is Samara and welcome back to Samara Perhaps. What I'll be talking about today, which is a topic I'm very excited about, <clears throat> is the correlation between transitioning and developing a punk or alternative style. And if you watch till the end, I'll provide some tips about exploring your own style and maybe even going a little bit punk, goth, or just rebellious in general against the norm. And let's get started. So uh, I have to say this right off the bat. As you can see, I am also someone who went very punk in my, my outfit <clears throat> outfits. And I think I was a little bit, you could say punk before transitioning, but it was nothing like this. I, I think I had one jacket with a few spikes on it, which I ended up not even wearing that much. I didn't even like that jacket so much. <clears throat> But I think it really, for me, exploded when I began to transition. I just, how do I say this? I put a lot of thought into the things I wear because I, I, I like fashion. I think it's really interesting. I felt this way as a man. I feel this way still as a woman or non-binary individual. And I was very excited to get into alternative um, clothing or um, aesthetic. I began just experimenting with a few things. I, th I think the first quote unquote alternative punk uh, piece of um, clothing I got actually, that right here, <sighs> these boots. And th these are not the, the boots I had in like some other video. Those are like some kind of more piratey themed boots. This is like, you know, these are my, my pride and joy. My, this is my pride and joy. I need to English correctly. But like, I really love those boots, and I adapted uh, adopted things like my chokers. Of course, um, when it comes to my my pentagram here, which I wear in all my videos, that is more of a a Satanist um, respect the inner power type of thing. But there's also definitely a punk connection for me there as well. Um, I got my collars, <clears throat> my my um, bracelets. Love these. And of course, I just love wearing black. It's, I think, a very uh, mysterious color, a very powerful color. And I, I've, even pre-transition, I always love to wear black. So what makes this video really interesting is that I really didn't just want my own perspective on this. So I reached out to a bunch of friends and I asked them, or I guess I more or less made an announcement, I'm making this video and if anyone else who's transitioning also developed a punk attitude let me know like what it was like for you like let me put this in the video and i got a ton of responses it was actually really exciting but among talking to my friends there's three main things i noticed that came up one of the main things is that uh, when it comes to being punk or having that aesthetic it's very counterculture in a way well i mean in, in a big way actually very big and also by being transgender or in the queer community, the LGBT community, we are people who are nonconformist in a way. We're, we're not going with the norm of, with our identities. We really do kind of go against the grain a little bit, which I would say in the best ways possible. But that's one reason that some of my friends were saying that they've noticed for either trans people, LGBT people, or just themselves, what drew them to the um, punk uh, aesthetic. And I will say, many of my friends who responded to me on, uh, online were saying that they were already kind of punk in a way, same as me, even though for me it was very minimal. For some of them, they were like hardcore. Like, I, I wish I could have been like that. It's an acknowledgement that we stand out. And by expressing ourselves in this way, it's very validating to that aspect of ourselves that does feel like we're something unique. And I can definitely say for myself, that is part of the reason why I love the aesthetic so much, is because it makes me feel like I'm not what I used to be. I am something that's a lot more against what I would consider um, the norm. Which, again, it's obviously not a bad thing. I think we should be as independent and non-conformist as possible. That, that's my, my inner saying is talking. Something in relation to that that also came up is there's 
when it comes to being in either the trans community or the LGBT community, there is a lot of encouragement to explore ourselves. And one way that people explore themselves is through sexuality and through, um, to keep it as mild as possible, kink culture. And that's not me. Hi, family. But um, that is one other's connection is that a lot of punk in um, a lot of punk aesthetic is inspired by by kink aesthetic, if that's what it's called. But there's a tie to that, and it's also a I guess you could say in its own way sort of an outfit celebration of this exploration of ourselves, our sexuality, and our identities. Something else that. I guess this kind of ties into the other two, but of course when it comes to punk culture and alternative culture, it is seen as very rebellious, which of course this goes once again against being non-conformist, but this is more of a, in a sense of fighting for ourselves and fighting for each other who may also be in the LGBT, trans, or really anyone who just feels like they don't necessarily fit in. By us having these things, like these, whether it's collars or whatever the, you know, dare I say, rebellious aesthetic is, part of the reason we wear this is to say, we are going to fight for ourselves and for each other. And if there's something going on and we're not being respected and we're not being treated as human, we are going to fight. We are going to be aggressive. We are going to be making it known that we have a voice and <clears throat> we can have a very aggressive voice if need be because we are not going to let people trample over us and put us down quietly. And, oh, my, must I say it's so empowering to say that, just for the video. But, if this sounds good to you, and I probably should have said this earlier, but I forgot. I, I was so excited about just talking about this. Um, you can like, comment, and subscribe if this is a, a topic that's interesting to you. I would actually love to make a video just about more of my outfits and more areas where I personally get inspired and just kind of pass that on to you so you can sort of use that as a filter for your own aesthetic or your own inspiration. I love fashion, I love punk, and I, I really do appreciate sharing this as well as the, the mentalities behind what punk is. To me and to my friends who I, I will say um, specifically to my friends, thank you so much for your help. You guys had amazing responses. I, I wish I could have said more about it, but at the very least, please know that it's it was really insightful to hear about how we all got into this and how we're sort of expressing it now. With that said, please know you are valid, beautiful, and amazing. And of course, have a very rockin' day. That's stupid.